Hello Dark World, Johnny R here, welcome to Bloons TD6. Today we're going to do the Dark Castle map on chimps. First off, we're going to take a dart, place it right here at the intersection, and then take a sub, place it as high up as you can on the bottom part of the moat here, and then we'll start. There's a very low chance it'll leak, so just be aware. Okay, cool. So yeah, that could happen. All right. At the end of round six, we're going to take a dart, another one, place it right above the first one here. And then we'll continue. Cool. All right, moving on. Alright, at the end of round 8, we're going to take another sub and place it next to the first one. And we'll continue. Things will get less scary as time goes on, so don't worry. All right, just a little bit more. Okay, at the end of round 11, we're gonna take Sada and kind of place her like right here for now and then slowly lower her down so she's right up against the edge. So about, here we go. Maybe a little bit higher, here we go. And she fits in this little alcove here. Cool, very good. You should just barely be able to hit them. Round 13, we're gonna take a druid, place it to the left of Sada here. Cool. Then we're gonna get Thorn Swarm. That'll help out a lot. Then hard thorns on fifteen. And on sixteen, heart of oak. Very good. Keep it going. Once we get Druid to the jungle, then you don't have to worry too much after that. a little more and drew to the jungle on 21 very cool and now we'll prepare for round 40 totally fine At the end of round 25, we'll take a spike factory and place it right at the end here. Cool. Very good. Round 27, long reach and smart spikes. Excellent. Alright. Round 30, bigger stacks. Then white hot spikes. Now it's going to keep like piling out spikes like crazy. That'll basically damage everything. So you really don't really have to worry about uh, leaks at this point. Yeah. 
looking good so far. Okay. Almost ready for long life spikes on round 34. Cool. So we'll start dropping all these spikes down here. That'll last a little bit longer. Nothing too scary. Yeah, the pink brush might look intimidating, but it's fine. All right, round 37, deadly spikes. Cool. 38, we're gonna take a ant. 38, we're going to take an alchemist and place it right about here. Give it larger potions and acidic mixture dip. Blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And on 39, Berserker Brew, Stronger Acid, and then Perishing Potions. Cool. And this should be fully buffed, so when the round starts, it'll spit out a whole bunch of them. All powered up. And boom. There we go. Okay. At the end of round 40, we'll take a tack shooter. Place it next to the sub here. As far to the right as you can. Hmm. There we go. And we'll take another one. Place it in between the first tack shooter and Sada. Cool. And on 41, we're going to take a village. Place it right about here. If the druid's not in range, that's okay, because we'll just get a bigger radius here. So now the druid will be affected. Keep it going. And at the end of round 43, jungle drums. Keep it going. And then primary training. All right. And on forty five, primary mentoring. Cool. And also grow blocker. There we go. Then on 47, Radar Scanner. Now we're going to go to the first tack shooter. Do a faster shooting, even faster shooting. Long range tacks and super range tacks. Cool. Then on 48, Hot Shots. Very good. And that'll help us out on round 63 when it comes up. Round 49, Ring of Fire. Very good. And at the end of round 49, faster shooting, even faster shooting, hot shots, long range tacks, and super range tacks. Great. Because these two working together will do a lot of damage. Very awesome. Then on 50, Ring of Fire. Boom. Ah. Great. 51, Heart of Thunder for the Druid. Cool. So much damage now.
Excellent. Just a little more. And at 54, Jungle's Bounty. Alright. Let's see, next up, we'll take a glue gunner. Place it a little bit below the druid, but within range of the village. Give it stickier glue, stronger glue, and bigger globs. For now. Alright. Then Moab glue on round 56. Relentless glue. That'll give it a small uh, stun effect, which is really, really helpful. Then on 59, glue splatter. Oh, yeah. Round 60 is nothing to worry about. Definitely notice the uh, speed reduction with the glue gunner there. Boom. Ah. All right. All right. Let's check out round sixty-three. See how good our defenses are. Oh. <laughs> Very awesome, huh? There we go. All right. So the next ability we're going to be saving up for is Spirit of the Forest. That'll be really awesome. This little area right here becomes just awful for the balloons. I mean, it already is, but it just gets worse. <laughs> All right.
All right, on round 76, we're gonna wanna use sword charge. So we'll double click here and then sword charge, just to be safe. And we'll continue now. Hmm. Here we go, this round isn't gonna be anything too scary. On round 78, there's gonna be a ceramic rush, which we'll use sword charge on. Um, then after the BFB, there's gonna be another uh, camo ceramic that we're gonna wanna sword charge as well. I'll show you. I'll even do it in a regular speed so I can show you for the timing. Stream must come rather quickly. Here they are. Sword charge. We might not need to use a sword charge, but I just like to be safe on those rounds. Cool. And the BFB is going to come by. And it's just going to get annihilated. All right. Oh, uh, whoops. Well, we didn't need to, so it's fine. Excellent. All right. <laughs> Round 79, Spirit of the Forest. Here we go. Oh yeah, all these spikes right here, just nasty. Alright, at the end of round 79, we're going to take a bomb shooter. Uh, we'll place it right beneath Sada here. Set it to strong. Faster reload, missile launcher. Moab Mauler, Moab Assassin. Yep. Extra range and frag bombs. Cool. And now we'll be saving up for Perma Spike.
All right, at the end of round 88, Perma Spike. Very awesome. The Perma Spike uh, in combination with the Spirit of the Forest is really nasty. Very good. Now next up, we're going to save up for Moab Eliminator. All right, around 96, Moab Eliminator. Very awesome. And now we'll give the Alchemist a stronger stimulant too. And then we're gonna clear out this upper part of the forest here. That way we can hit the BAD a lot easier. Round 97, let's just use the Moab Eliminator ability here over and over again. There we go, that's one. Then we'll use it all throughout round 98. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Here we go. We have quite a bit of money left over, so we'll go to the sub. Long and range, advanced intel, twin guns, airburst starts, triple guns, and armor piercing darts. And we'll do the same for the second sub. Then we'll go to the darts, long range darts, enhanced eyesight, sharp shots, razor sharp shots, spike a bolt, and do the same thing for the other dart. Then we'll continue. Very good. Then we'll go to the dart here and give it juggernaut. And then round 100, just use uh, Moab Eliminator over and over again all you need. Here we go. Oh yeah. Very awesome. And there you go. You did it. Awesome. All right. Congratulations. This is Johnny R. signing off for the night. Have a good night, everyone.